Howdy y'all, Banjo Ben here announcing my second annual Nashville experience. Last year was a huge hit. You've been asking if I was gonna do another one. We are. This July is your chance to see Nashville through my eyes. I've lived in Nashville for almost 20 years now and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, backstage to all things Nashville. You can't have another experience like this. I want you to come with me. My second annual Nashville experience happens Thursday and Friday, July 13 and 14. The first day is all things downtown Nashville. We'll gather on Lower Broadway just after lunch. I'll put you in vans. We'll go to a Music Row studio. There you'll learn how we get the sounds that you hear on your radio, both now and how it's happened throughout the years. You'll see how producers work. You'll see how engineers work. You'll see how the inner workings of the studio happens and what it's like for a studio musician to go to work every day. Last year's Nashville experience was all about banjos, but this year we're gonna concentrate on guitars. You don't have to be a guitar player to come, but if you love guitars, you love guitar pickers, you love pre-war Martins, then you're gonna love this Nashville experience because from the studio, we're all going to go down Music Row, I'll give you a tour on the way, and end up at Groom's Guitars. There we'll be greeted by some of the foremost experts on guitars in the entire world. We'll talk to luthiers there, talk about the construction of the pre-war Martins and why they're so important and valuable today. For supper, we have a private event space at Old Red, Blake Shelton's place down on Lower Broad. There we'll have a private concert by a singer-songwriter, have a family-style meal, fill our bellies before we go across the street to the world-famous Ryman Auditorium there in downtown Nashville. It's the mother church of country music. It's where bluegrass music was born, and that night we as a group will get to watch Rhonda Vincent and the Rage as part of the Bluegrass Nights at the Ryman series. It's going to be incredible. I think I'm most excited about the second day of camp, even though the first day is going to be incredible. That's because we're doing something that we've never done before at any of my events. We're going just west of Nashville to a place called Hideaway Farm and Storytellers Museum. You may not recognize those names, but you'd know the guy who owned it for over three decades. This is Johnny Cash's old place. He called it the hideaway farm because it's where he would go every chance he had when he wasn't on tour, when he wasn't doing business, to recharge and to do a lot of his writing. We're going to be making music on that very same ground. We're going to spend all day the second day. We'll have some special guests, some guitar players whose names you'll recognize, drop in, teach with us. Uh, jam with us, make music. We're gonna eat good food and do it all there where many of Johnny's memories happen. You may even get to sit in his one piece at a time car. I'm sure you agree this is gonna be one special experience and it would tickle me for you to come and join me. I wanna show you Nashville the way that I see it and it's a way that you can't see any other way. Just go to banjobandevents.com to learn about all the details and you can also bring a friend to join us at the Ryman and for suppers. Again, all the details there at banjobandevents.com. I'll see you this July for my second annual Nashville experience.